Right, there's a little story I tell myself to remember the amount of days that are in each month. Because there's this rhyme um, that I've never remembered. This uh, 30 days has September, April, June and November thing. And I don't like it. So I've thought out a little story and I think it works very well on how to, yeah, remember how many days days are in each month. Uh, disclaimer, it is completely fictitious. I mean, seriously, it is, there are details in there that are wrong. Factually, historically wrong. There's basically always been 12 months in a year, except an occasional 13th leap month. Uh, that I don't really want to get, go into. It was bizarre even back then. And there's a video out from Rob Words a couple of months ago from the time of this recording uh, that does a better job at explaining how it came to be certain um, irregularities in our calendar system. Yes, um, so my little story. Right, back in ancient times, back before the Roman Empire, back before the Roman Republic, back before the Kingdom of Rome, there was a little village called Rome. Yeah, you know, um, the one with Romulus and Remus and being raised by wolves and Romulus stabbing Remus and all that. Lovely. Um, back in those days, they had a calendar system for one year being ten months. Exactly why it started off as 10 months, you can see it because the months September, October, November, December that we have at the end of our current calendar system, um, they come from the um, Latin words for 7, September, 8, October, 9, November, and 10, December. Like we have the decimal system, that's 10 numbers. Um, yes, <laughs> the octopus has eight legs, so on and so forth. So that's why I'm saying this calendar system had ten months. Yes, and um, this calendar system of having ten months, it was rather sensible. You see, in each month, they'd alternate between 37 and 36 days. This averages out to 36 and a half days per month, and for 10 months, that's exactly 365 days in a year. Please ignore the leap day for now. Um, anyway, so, the Roman village, this tiny village, became the Kingdom of Rome. And as the Kingdom of Rome developed, it became the Roman Republic. And during some fateful events in history, this Roman Republic became the Roman Empire, with the first head of state being Julius Caesar, the Julius Caesar. Now, this Julius Caesar fella, he was an egotistical man. Don't exactly want to get into harsher words. He, he was egotistical, okay? And he wanted his own month. Yes, this man, Julius Caesar, wanted a month named after him. He wanted another month in the calendar. So he skimmed off a couple of days off each of each month and added in an 11th day in the middle, right in the middle of the calendar. And this month became July. Yes, um, this, this calendar probably had months with um, 34 to 33 days in a very higgledy-piggledy, off-kilter sort of ma manner because I haven't quite figured out how this thing would have looked. It would have been maddening, but probably not as maddening as having an occasional leap month that was decided by a council off somewhere else. It means that farmers in fields never knew exactly what month it was. 
Yes, so Julius Caesar, having added his 11th month as Emperor of Rome, is um, promptly assassinated, and the person after him was Augustus Caesar. I haven't actually checked whether Augustus Caesar actually um, succeeded Julius Caesar. Probably did. I should probably look that up. Anyway, the megalomaniacal Augustus Caesar uh, came up next. And he, too, yes, he was megalomaniacal and egotistical, wanted his own month. And so, like Julius Caesar before him, Augustus Caesar skimmed off a couple of days off each of month, each of each of every month, and added his own month, his twelfth the twelfth month into the calendar system, right next to July in in the middle of in the middle of the year, and called it August. Now, a uh, point of truth, uh, the months July and August are indeed named after Julius and Augustus Caesar. <laughs> yes. Um, now, this 12-month system this that August, Augustus Caesar had caused also had July and August as being the longest months in the year. And this system turned out to be... Um, that the months in the year each had 30 to 31 days. Um, February is, of course, the exception. And um, July and August then had to have 31 days. Anywho, that's the end. That is the story that I like to tell myself to remember how many months how many days each month has. Um, yeah, so you can... This system works. You can start at January with 31 days and alternate uh, 30 day, 31, 30, 30, 31, 30, 31, up to July. And then July has 31 days. You then go to August. That also has 31 days. And then from August to, de to December, 31, 30, 31, 30, 31. Um, this also works middle out, so starting from either July or August, you can then work your way to January or December respectively, and always alternate between 30 and 31, the obvious exception being February. Yes, and so that's how our calendar system came to be, in this alternate fictional world that never existed. Righty ho. Um, hmm. End. <laughs> <laughs>